these two speakers came out of the uh, 2007 Honda Civic that we have. Um, these speakers normally sit underneath the dashboard and uh, they both blew out at the exact same time and apparently if you do a Google search you'll find out a lot of people with 2007 Honda Civics are complaining that their front speakers are going. So I wanted to ask for the parts back from the shop after they replaced them so I could take a look. Now first of all if you take a multimeter this is how you can test if a speaker is blown. Basically you want to switch it over to the ohm setting to check or to measure resistance and if you touch the two leads together on the multimeter sure enough it's almost near zero showing that there's very little resistance and it goes to unlimited or infinity or it arrows out showing a one showing that there's no connection at all when you're not touching so now I take a actual speaker that I know works test the meter one more time sure enough it's working now you put it on both sides of the speaker and there's a 23 ohm resistance going through this little speaker. Now here's one of those blown speakers and right inside there you can see in that plastic shroud there's two leads so that's what I want to touch these two together and see if there's any resistance going through the speaker and it's showing infinity again or that there's no connection whatsoever. That means there's a short somewhere in the speaker. And it's probably in the side the uh, where the voice coil is. On the outside here these these show almost no resistance. Um, that's just like a metal tab that connects the speaker. You want to get the inside leads when you're doing your measurement. So since the speaker's blown I'm going to rip it apart and see what everything looks like inside. And there it is there. Basically that orange thing is just like a paper filter. Keep dust out of the mechanisms inside and everything else. I'm not an expert at speakers whatsoever, I just have a very basic knowledge of it, but this is how I've tested for blown speakers before. That little part there is the voice coil. That's where all your windings are for your copper windings, and here's a magnified view of what that looks like. As you can see, the copper wire is so thinly wrapped around that circular part. And if there's a short anywhere there, and you can see where the one particular wire starts to go up to the right to the very top of the voice coil and that's where it makes its connection to one of those leads on the speaker on that side and there's another one right beside it too that does the exact same thing so if there's a short anywhere there that would make your speaker blow so you can see how fragile these speakers actually are and here's the magnet there's not much to a speaker really other than the magnet, the voice coil and you can see that only the center is magnetized really well and that's basically it it's not magnetized anywhere around the sides though, only in the center really These speakers were actually really, really light. You can tell by the size of the magnet on how, how, how heavy duty they are. And as I mentioned, this is just some sort of paper filter to keep whatever, I guess, dust out or somebody would probably leave in the comments if you know what this, why they put this type of uh, like a paper filter on top of it. Doesn't seem to really do anything. Doesn't have any electrical connections. Thanks for watching.